Hi, welcome to Excel Lab video tutorials. In this video, I'll integrate several examples using the QuadF worksheet function of the Excel Lab add-in library. The QuadF function is fully documented and you can access the help page at excel-works.com. For now, we are going to simply use the function for quick examples. I've started Excel with the Excel Lab add-in. Our first example is shown here and it has this exact answer. The procedure to use QuadF is straightforward. We define the formula using a variable of integration. X1 is a convenient variable to use. The contents of X1 are irrelevant. I've defined the formula in cell A5. Excel reports division by zero because the formula involves a division by X1, which is undefined. To integrate the formula, we simply invoke QuadF formula. We pass a reference to the integrand formula in A5, the variable of integration, and the limits 1 to 2. Executing this formula computes the integral which compares exactly to the analytical value. Our second example is log s over the square root of x from 0 to 1. And again we define the formula in A12. Len x1 divided by square root of x1. Integrating this formula with respect to x1 from 0 to 1 provides the exact answer, minus 4. Our third example is a formula that uh, has known singularities at 1 over 7 and 2 over 3. Again, I define the formula here in cell A19. And I integrate the formula using quad f, passing the formula as the in the first argument, the variable of integration, my limits are from 0 to 1, and then I'm passing non-singular points for the integrand. And I've defined my singular points here as 1 over 7 and 2 over 3. Executing A20 computes the answer. My fourth example is an improper integral shown here, and it's the same procedure. I define the integrand formula in cell G5, and I insert my quad f formula in G6, passing the formula reference, variable of integration 0, and for the infinite limit, I pass the string nth. Computing the answer, again, computes the exact answer for the integral, which is shown in cell I6, pi over 2. Another example here involves both infinite limits. It's the same procedure. Again, it computes the exact answer, square root of pi. You can also nest quad f to compute double integrals or multiple integrals in general of any order. The procedure is straightforward. You choose your variable of integrations here, x1 and y1. I define my integrand, which is exponent minus x1 minus y1. Then I define the innermost integral, passing the reference to the integrand, my variable of integration with this, which is y1 for the innermost integral, and my limits go from 0 to 1 minus x1. We can ignore this intermediate value, then I define the formula for the outermost integral, passing now a5, which is the innermost integral, as my integrand in a5. And I, my variable of integration now is x, x1, and my limits are from 0 to 1. Computing the outermost integral, compute the answer to this integral, which also again matches the exact answer for the integral. This is another example involving infinite limits. It's the same procedure. The only difference is we pass string infinity for infinite limits, and we compute again the exact answer. You can continue this procedure to compute integrals of any order, as shown in this triple in example. All these examples are available from the help page for quadf at excel-works.com. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for listening.